Welcome to your Daily Smash for Thursday, November 7th, 2024. I'm Rick, and Kelly is not here. She's in the desert. And if I sound loopy or drunk, it's because I've had two hours sleep in the last 36 hours. Uh, <laughs> Kelly, on the other hand, is having a great time, girls' night out. She's with her mom and a bunch of girlfriends. Uh, in fact, I have video of them at dinner that I can show you right now. Okay, we are at In La Quinta with Girls Night Out. Do you know? Girls Night Out. With Mamacita. With Mamacita. See, this is how we do. This is how we do it. Okay, thank you. So delicious. These are our, we had the best meals of our... Thanks, baby. So see, Kelly is here. And I also have video of her at the piano bar. But because of the music being played, it's a recognizable song. I can't share it with you here. I can show you the silent version. But anyway, uh, she's out having fun. So I'm doing this by myself. Tomorrow we're going to go live. We're going to do our Daily Smash live like we always do on Fridays now. So we'll be live, split screen. She'll be in Palm Desert. I'll be here in Newport Beach. And we hope you'll tune in on this YouTube channel, the Rick and Kelly Show channel. The Daily Smash will be live. And if you haven't subscribed, we're at 49,000 and change. It seems like we've been stuck in the 40s for about a year and a half, which I think we have. And you can guess as to why. Uh, but we'd like to hit 50 at least. We get 100 and we get a plaque. But 50 is cool. We'll take 50. Um, <laughs> I flew back this morning early on Delta. I flew to Florida on JetBlue Mint. And I'm right now gonna do a comparison. I'm gonna give you my review of JetBlue Mint versus Delta First Class, okay? If you have any experience with either one, you'll know what I'm talking about. JetBlue Mint is awesome. I had my own cubicle, my own little room with not just a lay flat seat, but also a seat next to it. If I wanted to sit down next, or I could have a guest in there, I guess. Big TV, lots of movies, uh, great food, and the service is terrific. So I'm a big fan of JetBlue Mint. JetBlue is great. I used to fly JetBlue all the time, but uh, JetBlue Mint is beyond ridiculously awesome. The ticket, because I checked to fly to Florida uh, last minute in Mint on, what was it, Monday morning early, was $2,200 and change for one seat, one way. Coming back, I flew Delta. Uh, I wish I could tell you the aircraft. I looked it up before I got on the jet because I wanted to see if I was going to have a late flat seat, and it said I did. But when I tell you this was like glorified premium plus, um, it's, it was their business class basically, but they call it first class, but it was not a late flat seat, and it, there was not a lot of room in there. In fact, the guy, I, I took the window thinking that was my seat. I actually had the aisle, but he never said anything, this guy next to me. And I told him I was going to sleep, and he said he was too, and he passed right out. And he put the blanket over his head. And uh, I woke up a couple hours into the flight. I had to go to the bathroom. And I'm and it's not like if it was a, a, a lay-flat seat with all that room, I could have stepped over him easily, but there was no way. Like, I, I sized it up. I stood up, and I'm like put, trying to, and I just called the stewardess flight attendant excuse me over and when I did that he woke up and he got up and we both went to the bathroom anyway uh not a big fan I mean the service was fine and people were nice the lounge was great I'm not complaining first class thank you Newsmax but it's just not all that I wouldn't spend a lot of money to fly Delta first class I just wouldn't because it's not it doesn't compare um that said great airline I know they're number one I'm just telling you, the difference between those two seats was remarkable. I was scrunched in one, and I had all the room in the world in the other. Very, very comfortable. Uh, it was... Oh, and then I... So, uh, election night, I worked two days in Florida, anchored my show, anchored Ed's show on Tuesday, filled in for him, and then contributed to election coverage all night till like 1.30 in the morning. And... Uh, it was, it was fun. And while we were doing that, while I was doing that, we were doing a, a Zoom call with our VIPs on the Rick and Kelly show. We're going to start doing that more often. A VIP only Zoom call for special events. So Kelly was on there from the desert 
And we had, I don't know, 12, 15, 20 coming and going during the Zoom. We were on for, and Kelly was on for four hours. And when I went in the studio, I brought the, the laptop with me so people could watch as I sat there in the studio and did my live shots. Anyway, that was cool. Uh, and I got back to the hotel at like two in the morning and Trump was at that point on his way to the convention center to speak. And I didn't go to that. I wasn't invited to that or Mar-a-Lago, but I was working in Boca. And I didn't try to go because I had to get up at 5.20 in the morning to catch a flight back here. So I get to my room, it's 2 a.m., I turn on the TV and, and here comes Trump. <laughs> and I, I watch his speech and then it's like, now it's like 3 and I try to go to sleep and I was just, you know, wired from work. So uh, I, never, I never slept a wink. Uh, got up, went to the airport, and then got like two hours sleep on on that Delta seat. But wow, did Trump dominate? And I, I don't want to go too deep here. You guys probably don't want to hear it. I do that on my show on Newsmax too, the Leventhal Report. It was, you know, a lot of politics. I did it like a ten minute monologue today. I had a lot of fun with it. I really have fun with this show. If you want to check it out, you can watch it on YouTube or streaming on Samsung or Roku or any streaming platform, The Leventhal Report, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. So I, I, don't, I won't waste your time with it. But on Patreon, we do talk a lot about politics and stuff. So if you are interested in that kind of thing, Kelly and I go off on a lot of top, topics. And we have a lot of exclusive material, cool material over there. Um, but boy, did Trump dominate. I have some uh, messages from you guys. I want to read a couple. Vanessa Roach, thank you. I know you watch all the time. I appreciate you. She said, Rick, fantastic show on N2 tonight. Welcome to politics because you're great at it. <laughs> I, I covered breaking news my whole career. I, you know, I did uh, plane crashes and hurricanes and floods and terror attacks and wars. I didn't do a lot of politics. Once in a while. She said, John and I love and appreciate you and Kelly so much. We could not have survived this election season without you. Much love from San Antonio, Texas. And Mama Rabbit said, you need a new hairdo, Rick. Like what? Like what am I going to do? I used to have a giant Jufro. It's like this big. I have pictures. Well, I don't have pictures of it at its peak. But anyway, uh, I don't know what to do with my hair. Fly me to Capri 426. God bless America. We did it. Thank you, Rick, for a fantastic job. You being in the news industry makes it even more exciting for all of us. Big blessings to you and Kelly for speaking up and giving us a daily show that makes so many people happy and entertained. Love you guys. Thank you for that. Really, really nice. Um, yesterday we missed a show too. So uh, you got me solo two days in a row and I apologize for that. Uh, Annie Oreen said, just want to say thank you. You to both of you for supporting Trump through all of this. You all took a lot of heat, hate, and cancellation, but have prevailed. Much love to you both. Yes. Thank you, Annie. Uh, and Lisa B. said, Great job, Rick. It's wonderful to hear from you while your queen is getting the well-deserved rest she needs. <laughs> Trump making America great again. Um, Kelly is working hard in the desert. She's getting a lot of stuff done there. And Bobby, too. And thank you both for all that you do. I, I appreciate both of you. Bobby, appreciate you. Kelly, you know how I feel about you. I sent Kelly flowers today, and I, I told him I wanted a big, a tall vase. Do I have the best husband in the whole wide world? Do I not? Look it. To my Kelly, always and forever, with love, Rick. I don't know how I got so blessed. I don't know. And she sent me a picture. They look really nice. They, they look pretty. Um, but, uh, they didn't look big enough. Oh, I wanted it bigger. <laughs> anyway, uh, I want to just tell you this show is brought to you by Soul Life Mineral Supplements. Soul Life is the minerals you need. They are highly absorbable. They're organic. They're vegan. And they work. You don't get enough minerals in your daily diet. Are you taking vitamin supplements? Probably. I bet you're not taking mineral supplements. Look, I just opened this one. But you need minerals just as much or more than you need your vitamins. So that's my reform, which goes well with Solenda, but Rekick as well. They all have different properties and qualities, and I don't have the 
the notes in front of me. I'm not a chemist or a scientist. I just know that these are uh, organic minerals, vegan and uh, high quality, made in Canada. The company's been around for eight years. We're the uh, sole U.S. exclusive partners with Solite. The magnesium, by the way, is terrific. It's magnesium 5X, there's five kinds of magnesium in there. And uh, it'll help you sleep better. I stopped taking my Ambien when I started taking my Magnesium 5X. So go to soullife.com slash Rick and Kelly. You'll get a double discount of $10 off uh, by two or more. And then another $10 off if you put it on auto order. So you'll get $20 off every bottle. Each bottle is a month's supply. They're really, they're easy to swallow. I got seven of them here. No muss, no fuss. Soul life. I'm telling you, they're awesome. I cut my nails all the time now because they grow so fast. Uh, I'm going to do it in the news now. In the news. So in Oregon, the state of Oregon, an ambulance hit a guy on a bicycle and then gave him a ride to the hospital after the ambulance driver ran him over. And then the guy got a bill in the mail for eighteen hundred bucks for the for the ambulance ride to the hospital. An ambulance slammed into a cyclist in Oregon, breaking his nose and smashing his bike, and then billed him more than eighteen hundred dollars for a ride to the hospital, according to a new lawsuit. William Hosh, seventy one, is suing Columbia River Fire and Rescue for nearly one million dollars, claiming an ambulance driver for the company left him with the outrageous bill, along with permanent injuries and roughly one hundred thousand dollars in medical expenses. He was pedaling through the tiny town of Rainier near the Columbia River in October 22 when the big red ride plowed into him while trying to make a right turn, crushing him under the wheel of the ambulance. The driver, who was going between 2 and 10 miles per hour, heard a thump, stopped, and rushed the guy to the hospital, according to the lawsuit. The crash left him covered in blood, destroyed his bike, and caused him long-term injuries such as decreased range of motion and reduced grip, the lawsuit states. To add insult to injury, the New York Post reports, the ambulance company later sent him a bill for $1,862 for giving him a lift to the hospital. So Hosh is now suing for $997,000, $997,000 for pain and suffering, along with payment for medical bills, OregonLive.com reported. Pretty cool. Would you take a million bucks if you knew that you were going to break your nose, fracture body parts, and be kind of, you know, messed up for the rest of your life? A million bucks. <laughs> I think I'm in. I think I'm in. And on that night, uh, note, on that note, it is night. And on that note, we're going to call it. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you live on Friday morning uh, what do we time to do it last time? 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. Pacific. We'll see you Friday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific, live right here on this YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. When you sweat, you just don't lose water. You lose electrolytes. Important nutrients and minerals that your body needs, including magnesium. Magnesium is the key to good health and disease prevention. Without it, you'll likely have low energy, poor stamina, and weak vitality. Most people don't get enough magnesium. And, and most magnesium supplements are poorly absorbed with little as 4% of the benefits. But Magnesium 5X is not your average supplement. It has some of the most bioavailable and highly absorbable forms of magnesium in the world. 5X will help your muscles function, your bones, tooth, tissue development, and heart function, and boost your energy. Kelly and I are proud to be the official launch partners for Soul Life and Magnesium 5X here in America. Use our code and get $20 off every bottle. Change your life for the better with Soul Life. Change your life for the better with Soul Life and Magnesium 5X.